snap boys and girls we got some geese coming in here today man it's been so long since we've been able to actually go out and do some geese hunting with them working properly i mean i don't know how properly they were are working now <clears throat> according to you guys in the comments of like my goose hunting guide and everything which has been doing amazingly i think that's video that video is over like 200,000 views or something Thank you for that. That's crazy. I never thought that that video was going to reach so many people. And it's helped so many people, too. So, man, that's awesome knowing that I can help people. But anyways, we're here. we got a little road here. And I can't look down any further than this for some reason. It's kind of weird how we have our... Uh, it's probably how we have our blinds set up. But anyways, we're going to try and shoot some of these guys with the Zarza 1522 long rifle. I don't even think I'm really going to wait for too many of them to land. I'm just going to start shooting. I haven't been doing much aim training, so if I miss a lot of shots, I'm going to use that as my excuse. Oop, I forgot we only got a 5 round mag. Dang, we got a whole nother flock coming above us here. Let's see if we can still get some of these before, while those ones are getting in our range. Yep, we got that one. It seems like the iron sights are pretty accurate on the Zarza 15. I think the Zarza 10 needs some tweaking for the iron sights. Okay, I'm actually, you know, hitting a quite a bit more shots than I thought I was going to. Of course, I jinxed myself there on the end, and uh, we can't even get the level 4, but that's okay. Cool. Well, we got two flocks in already. I think that was two different ones, unless that was the same one that split apart. I'm not sure. But, yeah, the Zarza 15. Pretty good little goose gun, man. <laughs> Shooting geese with an AR. Who would have thought? I really wish it had 10 round magazine. That would be cool. But, I mean, maybe maybe in a future update we'll get that. It's pretty fun. I really like the sights on this thing. I wish it had a little better sound. Like I've said before, it sounds like a paintball gun. And I swear I actually hear some more geese here. What the heck? Oh, there they are. Man. This is a good spot here I set up this blind. I think I need to actually... I, the decoys are in a good spot, but the blind isn't because, like, I can't look any further down than this, and I can't look any further up than that, so we're kind of in a weird spot. I think we can just start shooting them now, man. <laughs> as long as we don't miss. So, like, I'm trying to, like, learn exactly where I need to put the bullet, or the sight, you know, and lead it. Okay, so if you put it, like, if they're flying away, if you put it, like, right on their beak, and you pull the trigger, it'll kind of go back and hit them, like, in the body. Kind of like that. Kind of aiming for the beak there. Boom. Good little strategy. Nice. I don't know where the hell those ones are even going to land. They're way out there in the woods. We'll go find them later. What I'm doing here is just letting them pile up. We're going to see if we can get another flock or two to come in, and then we'll get up. I'll claim everybody if we get any nice rares or diamonds, then I'll show you. Well, I actually just spawned in here at my tent behind me. And it sounds like there's a flock of geese actually landed here at my decoys. I'm going to sneak up and see if I can pop some of them. I don't care if they're on the ground or not. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, looks like they're going to be just taken off anyways. I guess we started them. Wow. That one looks... God, I suck. All right, here we go. I'm, I'm going to redeem myself here. Here we go. Redeem myself. Oh my gosh, there's more? I got to reload, boys. See, this is why we need a 10-round mag. It's really nice if you can hit them with the uh, the iron sights. I almost said ACOG sight. <laughs> Imagine, I wish we had one. Uh, but dang, we already got a pile of geese down. I literally just spawned in. I was going to head over there and sit and wait, but I didn't even have to wait. Look at that. Make sure I'm not missing any nice ones. I'd like to get a diamond if I can. That'd be pretty cool. A gray-brown. I hmm. don't think we've shot too many of those. That's a gold. The last few clips of this video were actually recorded like yesterday. So that's why I'm saying I just hop back on here. Man, it's like I don't even have to go to my blind today to find uh, 
the geese. Or they, they're just finding me. Ah, well, we got a couple there. Might be able to snag a few more. Maybe these back two. Still trying to figure out exactly where you need to aim uh, in order to hit them from those different distances and angles and stuff. Don't really do much geese hunting and stuff, so I, I'm just not too familiar with it. Especially with a 22. Usually you'd be using a shotgun. Oh my gosh. Oh. I don't want to. I don't want to miss this opportunity because I have not shot very many of these, and I want to use this gun. Oh, yeah. Got a red fox down with the 223. No, I do. this is supposed to be a goose hunting video, but I just see that guy right there. He's a level 5. Perfect opportunity to take him out. Might as well. Here he is. He's just a silver 9.20. The 223 honestly doesn't even have enough penetration to completely go all the way through. People hunt white-tailed deer with 223 in real life, and it sometimes goes all the way through and penetrates really far. Like It should most certainly go through a damn red fox. I will say that I will definitely be using this 223, the Zarza 15, over the 223 docent or whatever. That little bolt action is just hideous looking to me. So I'll definitely much rather use the AR. Hey, look at that. We got another flock already. It's been it's been honestly really, really frequent, which has been really nice. You don't, I don't have to sit here and wait for 30 minutes at a time. And, oh my gosh. Already another flock over there. Oh, that's a 5 medium. That is a diamond potential. 7 to 9. So yeah, that's... Man, come on over here. Come on over here, buddy. I think he actually is going to come this way. That's the one we want to keep our eyes on. I'll blast him out the sky with the 22. I'm not scared. That's him right there in the back. He's attentive. Oh, I got him. Oh, what the? What are you doing? How did I miss him right in front of me? Oh, damn five round magazine. Okay, man, they are just coming from every which way. I'm just trying to like shoot whichever ones I can just for the score and whatnot. Boom. All right, we got a few down. We just shot a level five. Oh, oh my gosh, we, already, we, got a, we got another flock coming in. Let's just sit down here. Might be able to shoot some of them. And you know what, let me test out. I want to test out the 22 Hornet on one. If I don't miss. There we go. Wow, we hit marked it. Hit marked it. What is this, Call of Duty? I think we shot it in the wing, that's why. Alright, here we go. They're about to get in my range. I can't look up any any further than this, so... Uh, any any more diamonds? <laughs> Doesn't really look like it. Okay, let's just shoot this one then. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh. Well... If you want to take those really far shots and still be accurate, I think the 22 Hornet is still going to be the way to, way to go. I'm not sure, though. The 22 Long Rifle, definitely, you know, it's, it's, it's still good. I just wish that thing had a 10-round magazine. That would literally make the Zars of 15 so much better. It would, you know, because it would have a competition with the Virate and stuff. But anyways, let's pick up these things. I don't know exactly which one is the level 5. I'm going to try and... Uh, if, you, any, if anybody ever wonders why, uh, like, us content creators stuff look up before we, you know claim the animal it's just because the background of the sky is much better than the background of the ground so it just looks better it, it allows us to take better screenshots and trace the animals out easier you know when we're in photoshop later there's that's the only reason why it doesn't do anything in particular but dang oh wait it is a diamond i thought that was silver for a second see this new icon just confused the hell out of me 850 right on the money nice my first diamond in a really long time, and it happens to be a Canada Goose. Who, who the heck would have expected that? And it's with the brand new Zarza 15 22 long rifle. As he was flying 67 meters away, can't go wrong with that, man. Diamond Goose, heck yeah. I think there's going to be just like a goose here and there, just laying in the woods. Like, yep, there's one over there, and there's one over here. I'll probably end up missing a few, but the good news is we got the most important one, which was the level 5. It's really cool to see one of those, actually. It's been a real long time. I think my last diamond goose was actually a melanistic. It was just kind of out of nowhere. All right, here we go. One last flock of the day. I think we're going to finish it off with these guys. I'm going to try and let them just circle around one more time, get a little bit closer, and then we'll start shooting them. I should probably not jump out of the blind yet. I don't know if that will disrupt them. 
Here they come, they're flying straight into us. Boom. 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 Get a reload. Come on, let's see if we can get the entire flock. Oh, I see some more coming in. What do we got? I just want to check, make sure there's no level fives. <laughs> As you can tell, they just kind of happen out of nowhere. We might be able to get this last one here. Boom. Is that another? No, this was one of the fake birds. Well, we got a good little pile here to finish it off. <laughs> uh, I don't think there were anything special. No rares. Nothing like that. But that's cool that we... That's really cool that we got a diamond today. I'm actually pretty hyped about that. I think that's my first, like, legit diamond on this account. I mean, I think I have one other one, and it was from whenever we were playing with the mods. I, like, accidentally shot it and claimed it. But I'm not going to count that as, like, a legit one, of course. But that was my first legit diamond on this new account ever since I uh, reset. I don't even know how long it's been. It's been a while. I haven't really been too, too active on Call of the Wild. I know, guys. I plan on getting back into it. I want to let you know something here before I end the video. I just ordered my new PC. It's going to have a Ryzen 9 5900X processor. I'm going with a 3080, 32 gigabytes of RAM, like 4 terabyte hard drive, and, you know, a big SSD nice liquid cooling i'll do a video on it once i get it it should be pretty nice it's pre-built but i mean man pre-builds are they're not bad anymore and they're really the way to go if you want to if you want to at least spend a reasonable amount of money on a pc like i'm not fixing to go buy one of those graphics cards like literally the graphics card is this amount of the pre-build that i could get and i can get the same graphics card so it's like yeah i'm, I'm gonna go with the full built pc you know i have a pre-build now it's been absolutely fine Pre-builds have come a long way, I can tell you that. Anyways, yeah, so that's big news. Should have a new PC within the next few weeks. I don't know when it'll get here, supposedly a few weeks. What does that mean? Well, probably just better quality videos. I'll be able to turn my settings up to max. I'll be able to record in 1080p, 60fps, probably no issues at all. It's going to be way, way stronger and way more powerful than this PC is, like, I, like, three or four years ago, however long it's been since I bought this one, I thought it was a monster, and now it's it's not. <laughs> so, yeah, really excited about that. Big thanks to you guys. I wouldn't be able to do it without you. Really, really appreciate every single one of you. Sorry for the little jibber-jabber there at the end, but that's why I saved it for the end. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, great, I'm ending the video as the rain's starting. Perfect. All right.